Hey everybody, it's Pluto and welcome back to Splatoon. And before we go any further, I just want to go to the options here on the main screen because there's an inkling option down here, which you can't really see, but it allows us to actually change completely what our inkling looks like. So we can change the gender, we can change the skin tone, we can change the eye color. We can do all the things that we've already done, but yeah, you can just change it from here if you need to. So I, I didn't actually think that was a thing, but I, I, guess, just, I guess I just misremembered this. But anyway, now let's go back to Octo Canyon. Okay, so let's go. Done up here. Let's go to the new area. Which is going to be a really cool area, because all of these areas that are upcoming are just really cool. Something about the first game's world, like, uh, like, adventure areas, feel cooler than Splatoon 2 for me. I think it's just because they're all connected and not, don't have any, like, loading zones. Like, of very obvious loading screens between them. You actually just go between them because in Splatoon 2, the adventure mode, you actually have to load between each area. Anyway, there are six more zapfish to find, so let's go find them. Or we'll find where they are, because I think there's one here, so let's activate that. Don't think there's anything here, but let's keep going. Carefully. There's the boss kettle. Let's keep going. There's one here. Looks like there's one there. No, that's a hole going down. Which is what I want. But I need to also find how to get there. So let's go up this way. Activate that. Go in here. And let's jump down. All the way down underneath the world. Which is really cool. We can get back up. No, that goes over that way. Okay, well. I guess I could take that. Let's see where this takes us. No, that goes back up. But let me check this way. And if I don't want to go this way, I can always go back, so... Oh wow, it takes us all the way up here. Is there any reason to be here though? Also, there's just a UFO in the sky, don't worry about that. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to be here. That I can tell. I think it's just a way back. So let me go back down this way then. Because I can. Did that work? Nope, that did not work at all. I really hope I can reach that. I think I can. Yeah, there we go. Let's bring that back over here. Get back across. I just wanted to point out that you can change your character's design because a lot of people like the Inkling Girl's design more than the, uh, the Inkling Boy design. As far as I know. <laughs> but anyway, let me uh, also unveil that one there. I think that one's just going up if you wanted to go up. But I want to go over here because there's another one over here. And I think that's only five. Yes, yeah, so we need to go back up. Because I think I know where the next one is is, possibly, it's over here, so let's activate that, let's see if I can make this jump, nope, but I think this is the, this is where this thing comes in, let's activate this, and go up here, nope, we've already been up here, I'm sure I'm missing something somewhere, It feels like it should be right here. Oh, right, of course, it's right down here below this. Okay, there we go. Anyway, what was the last world's thing? I think it was 15, so we need to be up to 16. So let's go to 16. That took a while to get to this point. Anyway, uh, propeller lift something something or other. Subtitle here. Propeller Lift Fortress, caught in a spin. I'm glad that they said the name after, like, like, just starting level, because otherwise I would have missed that. Okay, so we have to spin the wheel. The wheel of Splatoon. To make all these platforms come out so we can actually use them. I only have a certain amount of time to get through, though. So we will need to be quick, and I would like that. But I don't know if I have enough time to really take make the most of this. Apparently I do. Wow. Didn't think I could make that jump, but I did. So, there we go. Let's keep going. As much as I like the... Um... Oh, this is interesting. As much as I like the multiplayer, I really like the single player in Splatoon. 
It's something I can just do whenever I want. And like, just challenge myself to get through. And without having to worry about going against somebody in a completely unbalanced match. Because I've gone into a really bad ma match recently. Where, it, like in Splatoon 2. And it was... My team was four just regular casuals, basically. Against four uh, people who'd prestiged their... Um, their levels, basically. But they just completely wiped us out. It was so unbalanced, you have no idea. I would have understood it if it had more of the prestige players on the side that I was on. But nope. I think it was... I don't think it was checking for, like, the, the talent of the, or the skill of the players. It was just using the lobby and then randomly selecting who to put where, and it was just really unlucky. I feel like I'm missing some, like, the, the C scroll, but I might be wrong. I might still have a chance to find it, because I feel like it's supposed to go up with everything else, but I don't think it's an actual thing. Anyway, I also like that highway there, with the bridge. Oh my goodness, this actually looks really cool. Hey, hey, look at that, there's a guy there. There's a... Octocopter. Uh, anyway, let's blow up some, some of these things. I think that's actually the thing there, actually. Yep, there it is. Cool, I didn't miss it, which I was concerned about for a second. Whilst I'm missing completely, so I should probably just shoot at this thing here. So I can do this. Also, it's nice that I'm not having to worry about how much ink I have to spend to activate this. Pop some of these balloons. Go to the octocopters. I'm remembering names for once. It's wonderful. Man. It's, it's, it's just nice being able to remember things sometimes. I need to keep trying to remember things so I can get better at it. Oh, hello, Octobomber. Get rid of you. Let's see if we can get this. Sea scroll. That was close. It's fine. Way back should be a lot easier. Cool, let's go. We're at the end, so let's go. Just need to survive this last bit here, which could be interesting. Let me just grab this. Oh, hello. We have a shield if we need it. If we need it. Oh, that's a stronger one. It's got the kelp coming out of it. But it's fine, because we've already defeated it, so... So let's grab some more armor just because. I think it's just not going to do anything, but anyway. All done. This game feels so different to Splatoon 2. And I'm not sure if it's in a better way or a worse way. Cr uh, crackle, Chris Crackle. Hello, can you hear me? You've got that upside down. Oh, Agent 1 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon reporting in. And I'm Agent 2. We've got the SOS from Captain Cuttlefish. Are you Agent 3? We'll support your mission in the Captain's place. We'll try, at least. Ah! We've got to hurry, or the Captain will be Cuttlefish do. Well, it's a pleasure to be working with you. So we've met Agent 1 and 2 now. Who should look familiar to us because they are Callie and Marie. <laughs> Which is really cool. I'll, I really like that. <laughs> anyway, before the Great Turf War, there were friendly relations between the Inklings and Octarians. They could not have dreamed that further rising sea levels would soon force them to battle fiercely over the remaining territory. Or territory. So because... Uh, they became, became land-dwelling ink-based lifeforms, I guess. Whenever they go into water, they, like, disintegrate into the water. Which, there was water in that stage there that I didn't fall into. But if I were to fall into it, I'd have disintegrated it into it. It's basically another way of falling into a pit, but... This is referring... Like, this is... this is That's what this is referring to. With the, the water rising, so... They have to battle for what's left of the land, so... But anyway... Let's go to the next level. I can't remember which level this is. 16. So let's go to 17. Let's recover Captain Cuttlefish and the Great Zapfish. But also, I should probably upgrade something else like these two because I haven't... I've been neglecting them and I should probably upgrade them. Even though I don't use the Seekers as much as I probably should, but... I mean, I should upgrade them anyway. I want to have 100%. Octo Sniper Ramparts. 
Incredible aim. The puns are just perfect in this game. So much ink. I remember this level, and it looks amazing, so I'm just gonna look around for a second. Oh my goodness, look at this place. I would spend a holiday here. Let's go. Oh, isn't that an Octo Sniper? So basically, try to stay hidden while moving. That'll make it easier. They can basically shoot at us with a, a strong shot. So we probably want to take that out as soon as possible. But also we can be stealthy as well to try and take it out that way. Nicely done. Thank you. I try. Let's keep going. Checkpoint. Take you out. Oh, there's another one there, so I need to be careful. Like they say. Ow. Ooh. Need to recover some of that health. Too much ink on the sides of the screen. Try to take a breather behind the wall. That didn't work. It's fine. Let me just recover this ink. Okay, well let's put it into the ink a little bit, so let's take it out now. Since it can't really turn, but let's also go down here for the sunken sea scroll. I think it's a sea scroll, but I keep calling it a sunken... I don't know, it doesn't matter anyway. It's fine, as long as I say sea scroll. Or scroll even. Just anything, just let me... Do it, it's fine. Okay. I missed, it's fine. Um... Let's throw a bomb over there. And we're good. Just like that. Good work, you got this. Especially since we have the sea scroll. So let's go over here. Also like the the wood. The way the wood works with all of the rest of the level design. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Just gonna paint all that so I can use that. Just gonna throw it up there. Stay alive. Launch pad located. Cool. I think there's nothing else that I need to worry about. Here, so let's just paint that and go. Just like that. Okay. There's another one of those there. So let's be smart about this. Smart about this. Okay. There we go. Takes care of that. Probably want that other balloon as well. Just because we haven't got a ton of fish eggs right now. And I want more of them. Okay. I'll take all that. That fish is up ahead and then we're up to the final checkpoint, I believe. So we need to be very extra careful here. Did I get him? Nope. Ow. In the ink. It's fine. That's not what I wanted. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just take you out. I'm really not getting those where I want them to be. Okay. I kind of want to do that. Take you out. Take you out. Do that one. And then maybe just like that. We should be good. Okay. That was a pretty good usage of bombs there. Speaking of which, just like that. And kiss the zapfish. Just like that. Victory in the kids. Folk folk songs. Singing <laughs> singing. Contest went to these two cousins from the Calamari region. Their remarkable voices had ink pressures riding high throughout the audiences and earned them a st standing ovation from all present. So this is Callie and Marie being good singers because they're good singers. But also a long, long time ago in the early days of Splatoon before I played it, and also in Splatoon 2 and probably 3, there are Splatfests, which, which, spl uh, hang on, slow down, Splatfests, which are basically an event that happens in each game for a, a more amount of time for the first few years, probably, where basically 
you choose a side of like like uh one thing versus another thing to try and fight for which one is the best and Callie and Marie would basically not only give the news of which battle stages would be there but also they would have a team that they'd represent and you'd try and win for them basically but also the final splatfest for splatoon 1 was which was better between these two and that's an important thing to know before splatoon 2 and i'll probably go back into that later on so but anyway let's go to the next level which i think is over this way so let's go hmm you know you're not half bad agent 3 oh thank you i try so hard Please, give me more acknowledgement, please. I beg you. I didn't read the name of the thing, it's fine. Spinning spreaders. Merry-go-round, I didn't see the rest of that. That went by too fast. It's a spreader! It, except it goes around in circles, so... Whoa, whoa! Okay. Just shoot everything and it'll be fine. Just go over the top of the spreaders. Get all of the fish eggs that we can. And again, I love this, like, level design with, like, the, the the tracks going around, the saucers going in circles, and all the cool stuff, just all around. But anyway, let's try and take care of all this. I feel like the sea scroll or something is gonna be in a tricky spot, but it's fine. Just like that. Nicely done. We're gonna ride this out. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I'm... Oh, hello. I almost missed that. I feel like I'm supposed to be over there, so let's go this way. Let's make a jump for it. And there's the sea, sea scroll, so let's grab that. I'm just gonna grab that. Okay. Let's uh, go up, please. Grab that, thank you. Probably don't need to jump out of the ink as much as I am. But it's fine. I'm just used to jumping up walls rather than slopes. Okay, am I missing anything here? Nope, but there is eggs. So let's grab those. Now let's go over here and see what's happening in the world. Just need to not fall off. Take you out. Everything's fine. There's a lot of these. I guess that's why the whole stage is built around them, so... It's named after it and all that, so... Just gonna be patient. Very nice. Okay. Another checkpoint. Well, it's like that the wall, like, texture is still there, even if it's painted. Just take that out. Take you out, and I need that key. Conveniently still on the platform. Okay, but there we go. What was- what's- was that Captain Cuttlefish's- a uh, Captain Cuttlefish impression? I don't know what you're referring to, I might have missed something, but it's fine. Because we're at the end, I believe, so... No, not quite. Now we're at the end. Okay, here we go. Two oct Octolings detected. So we want to take them out. As carefully and quickly as possible. One more incoming. Bomb rush. Ahoy, grab it. With this we can just basically throw a ton of bombs all at once. If we just keep mashing the R button. We don't have to mash it though, so... But still, we get the key from that, and let's just check a few more things for fish eggs. And we can probably go. Just like that. Also, I should mention that there is a... a not that fish, that fish, at the end of le levels that you've already completed. And whenever you've completed a level, the kettle will have, uh, squid icons on them. It's midsummer every day at the Booyah base. Ultra mega hyper hyper sale. Everything's a must buy. You want to be the freshest squid in Inkopolis. You cannot miss this incredible incredibly incredible opportunity. Race down to Booyah base today. Some of the multiplayer equipment and weapons. But there we go. I do kind of want to look at the... Nice, at this rate you have the great zap fish in no time. I kind of want to go into a level that we've already done just to get the... Or see the, um... 
they're not, um, they're not zap fish, basically. Uh, but I kind of think I'm going to get there eventually if I just keep playing. Eventually I'm going to miss something, I'm sure. Tumbling Splatforms, the twists and turns of fate. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I'm not missing anything, but I doubt it. Also, I love that there are these, like, mechanical tentacles just turning around here. Look at that platform go! Oh, it's turning. And I want to take you out, please. Thank you. Oh, hello. Very lucky that I turned when I did. Anything else? Nope. Good. I just heard the thing. Not bad at all, Agent 3. Thank you. But this is basically the whole level is these platforms. I don't want that. It'd be quite handy. Don't think there's anything else here. Hopefully. No, no ink visible platforms. Okay. Checkpoint. Look out above. What's happening above? Is there anything happening above? Oh, there's a guy up there though. There's not really ha anything happening above, so I don't, don't know what that was about. Anyway, let's take you out. Octobomb. Launch a thing. I think. I don't know. I'm concerned with my knowledge. Coming and going. It's fine. The incline gets too steep. You'll drop. Take care, Agent 3. If we go into squid form on a slope, it will be less likely to slide, so... But we will fall off eventually, so we need to be careful to stay on top of the platforms. Nice one. Nothing else. Let's keep going then. Take you out. Take you out. Just make sure that I don't die. Yep, you've got the hang of this. Final checkpoint, here we go. And I don't have the thing, which is concerning. Well, this is pretty high up. I like when a level goes, like, in any game, just goes from low to high. It's just so cool. Is there my thing there? Yes, it is. Didn't miss the sea scroll. We're gonna miss one eventually, but not not yet. Get rid of you. And we just need to climb all of this to get to the zapfish. I'm gonna wait. Ooh, slow down. <laughs> Was sliding off for a second there, but I went to squid form, so it's fine. I like this design for this these platforms here. But anyway, let's go up. <laughs> up. I said up. I said up. Okay, there we go. And that's how you climb. Is the big fluffy one providing shelter for the little fishy one? Or is the little fishy one manipulating the big fluffy one? We may never know. And perhaps it doesn't matter. This is a referring to... Like, this is a reference to one of the characters in the main area. Which I might go say hello to just to show. Oh, you got one. You're one pretty fresh squid. Thank you. I'll remember to say the name of the level before I go into it next time. So if we go into headgear... This is Annie. Who looks a lot like the thing described in the... What's it called? <laughs> the, the sea scroll. Ah, hello. Oh, I... I'm very sorry, but... Well, the thing is... I'm afraid we have... A sort of rule here, you... You see... We don't sell people who aren't fresh enough. We sell to people who aren't fresh enough. Maybe if you've reached, say, level 4, I might be able to help you. Then? If you go to the lobby and play some, um, Turf Wars, that might help your level go up. Get out of here! Well, that's a shame. We can't really do anything until we're more leveled, but I'm also not going to do that, so... <laughs> that's a real shame. But there's, there are characters in the shops which are pretty cool. And there's Spike down in that alleyway. Who's also pretty cool. Uh, I also want to see Sheldon because we were talking about him a fair bit before. Hello! Hello, my dear! Is that weapon uh, really the only weapon you have 
in your possession? You'll need more than that if you want to be taken seriously around here. I'd offer to help, but I don't think you ha could handle my wares at a, a lowly level 1. No, I simply can't let you touch my beloved we weapons until you reach level 2, at the very least. Why don't you head to the lobby and raise the, that level in some turf wars? Then come see me again, hmm? So yeah, those are the two characters that we've kind of touched on based on the Sea Scrolls. So next up though is level 20. I love that we can just jump to there from here, like all the way down there. Octoling Uprising. Battle at Bluefin Depot. Depot. Yes, that one. I think this is the one that I was thinking about before with the thing. Looks like it. Got some more Octolings to fight. The Octolings with seaweed on their heads are extra tough. Agent 3, try and take the, the high ground. Okay. It's over, Octoling. I have the high ground. Split it up good and get going. Hello there. Have to get all the quotes in. I'm sorry. It's 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 a requirement. Hello. Let me just shoot you from up here, please. Thank you. I want to check everywhere for stuff, although I think I still know where the sea scroll is. Oh. A bomb rush. Nice. Press R, then blam, 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 with R. True. Very true. Just checking everywhere for stuff. Just because we're so... I, I, I'd like a lot more fish eggs than we currently have. Need to go on to the other side as well. Ooh, fish eggs. Is this the only, is this the only way up? I think it is, actually. Oh, I just overwrote that, but I... Probably didn't want that. It's fine. Where'd you go? Let me shoot you. Here we go. I'm gonna come back that way for in a minute, but first I'm gonna go this way. Because over here is another special with the Ink Zuka. One day I'll get an Ink Strike, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Not in this mode, at least. I like the Ink Strike, but it was probably a bit too powerful for some things. So that fish is just there. Okay. Don't even need to use my special, probably. I'm too good. Oh, hello. Goodbye. So now if we go down here, this is where the sea scroll is. Not missing any of those, apparently. One day I'll, one day I'll miss one, right? Right. <laughs> Don't fall off, it's fine. If I die and forget to recollect it, possibly, maybe. But I don't think that's even a thing. Let me just quickly... Okay, there's nothing else here. He Got it. Cool, let's go. Is that fish? I missed, it's fine. We had enough extra ink, so... Good thing I upgraded my... My tank. Also, because we get to the end with a special, we also get more extra... Fish eggs. Squids... Squads, new album, Fresh Kids, takes their trademark Squidcore sound to a whole new level. Critics call it an R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
Try swimming with ZL to zip it out of the way of the ink strike. Good advice. Hello, Octocopter. Let me just take you out. I like that we can just paint like the cones. <laughs> oh, hello. Didn't see you there. You just popped into existence. Kind of. I uh, also probably should have gone up more here. Don't think there's. Oh, there's just an enemy. Whew. It's fine. So fine. I think I got that guy. Possibly. If I didn't, I probably will now. There's that one there, though, so let's create you. Oh, careful, 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 so careful, so careful, so careful, so careful. It's fine. Anyway. How are you doing? Can I just, like, throw... Run away! I really need to get them into the ink, but it's not working. And it's fine. Oh, hello. How did you get here? I probably blasted too much. We sent it over here. Okay, let's go into the main area. Also, I like this map. I think that can actually, this weapon can actually go through shields as well, which is good. Anyway. Oh, need to be a little bit more subtle with my movements, probably. Possibly. I don't know. Let me just jump this. Nope, missed. Probably gonna get ink striked again. Yep. So much power. Made it to the other side now, so let's go up this way. I think the sea scrolls up this way, so definitely don't want to miss this. Hello, Octobomber. Let me take you out. And there's the sea scroll. Grab that, and let's go. It's probably just faster walking sometimes than jumping. Hit you. Pull us up. Probably should have done that in the first place, but it's fine. Mari, I mean, Agent 2 is pretty darn good at impressions. I think I missed something, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's fine. Completely fine. Nothing over here, I don't think. But yeah, they're, they're referencing the actual... Uh, their real identities. Because it's supposed to be a secret, but it's kind of obvious. But it's cool, so... Launchpad located. <laughs> I didn't really have any good way to get out of the way of that. Anyway. Good thing we get, uh... Shoot armor back. I was about to say shield. Okay. Octo Striker, let's take you out. Got some ink rails as well we could use. If I can find the sign point, there it is. Just trying to keep up with him is difficult. Keeping up. Keeping up. And there we go. I really like these UFOs. Also, it's interesting because I don't think the Octo Strikers came back. In Splatoon 2. It's probably fair, but still. It's probably also because they don't use the Ink Strikes in Splatoon 2. Possibly. I don't know. I can't, I, can't, I can't make up this. It's just whatever it is. What is this? It looks like uh, the proprietor of that shoe shop. Could there have been a creature that consumed prawns as food? A terrifying thought indeed. Well, since that's referencing itself, I might as well go look at that as well. Because that's referencing another one of the characters in Incopolis. Got all the zapfish. Now where's the boss kettle? Well, it's right there, but we're going to come back to that. They mentioned the shoe shop. So let's go there. Krusty Sean. Hey there, Squiddo. Good to see you here in Shrimp Kicks. Is, is that what I would be saying if you weren't so unfresh? For reals, dude. Do you even battle? You gotta have that level 4 freshness before I can help you. Sorry, but them's the rules. You know how to uh, level up, level right? Up your level, right? Just go to the lobby and do some turf wars, no biggie. I feel like they don't need to specify a level that you need to get to because you need money anyway. You just don't have any, so. Also, another character that we have seen referenced is Judd, the judge of the things. Which, who, who gives us advice when we want it? Meow. I'm going to be keeping tabs on how many battles you win. 
If you pile up enough victories, I'll give you an extra special bonus. Just a little token of my admiration. Meow. Do you realize how uncool you are? Better go get to the lobby. You need to play some Turf Wars. War battles and raise your level. And here's a tip. Once you've done that, try visiting the weapon shop. I feel like some of these messages are kind of haven't aged well. But now, after all that, we could go to the boss, I guess. But also I think I probably should talk to Captain Cuttlefish if he's around. I feel like he... No, he's not around. Never mind, I'm crazy. <laughs> because you can talk to him earlier in the game, but I didn't really do that much. But anyway, we don't need to. But let's go to the boss. I was just wanting some extra text, basically, but it, it's not possible. It's just not possible. It, I didn't see what the thing was. I'm going to check that before getting to the boss. Hang on. Inkling is on the menu. The Ravenous Octomore. So here we go, we have this thing to fight now, and it'd be a good idea to upgrade your weapon, bombs, just anything you can basically before this fight, because this fight is actually uh, somewhat difficult, from what I remember. You need to break its teeth, and also throw in a bomb, when its teeth are open, and then shoot its weak point. Don't want to be inside when it's in the middle of the ground, basically. Now it's got metallic teeth now. So it's going to take a little bit more time to break those. So probably want to do it as best, best as we can. Just go, 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 go. Switch to regular bombs because we need those to throw in there. Oh, ink low. That's not good. Please be enough. Thank you. Gold teeth. I don't think it's going to make it better, but it's going to make it harder for the boss, so... Okay, let's go, 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 break one tooth, because that's all we can really break. Because it's, we need a strong weapon for that. Just break as much as possible, throw a bomb in. And we should be good. And while we're here, I just want to look around because this place is really cool. This is like my favorite boss arena. Just like with all the pipes spewing the the goop out everywhere. It, and like the lights. It's just so cool. But anyway, let's grab all this. And let's go. Wowee! Agent 3, you're pretty good at this. Better than I expected. Just keep it up until you find the Great Sapfish. Are you forgetting about Captain Cuttlefish? Grr. Who's there? Grr. Oh, territory. Ah, the bad guy. Hey you, give us back the Great Sapfish. And the Captain too. Don't forget him. All territory belongs to me. Seriously, quit busting in on our radio com com communications. Hey, Agent 3, do something about this guy, quick. I will do my best. Of course, we get another weapon that we could get if we were doing multiplayer stuff from Sheldon. I remembered. But with that, we've also unlocked the last world. The area gate is open. 
Now let's press on, and on, and on. I really wish they said that now. <laughs> anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.